So I got a pretty epic hardcore world, but I have one really bad problem. That problem being inside of our amazing temporary base, we have a storage unit. It's it's terrible. So in today's spicy Minecraft hardcore video, we're going to be building up an amazing storage room inside of a giant planet, and it's going to be an auto sorter. And thankfully, we just got done building up our giant furnace, which inside of our giant furnace is our really OP iron farm, which actually I already kind of emptied it, so. Um, which the iron farm is going to be coming in handy because for an auto sorter, I'm going to have to craft up in Pooberain. Because for building up an auto sorter, I'm going to need a ton of hoppers, like a ridiculous amount of hoppers. And now I have 14. That's not enough. Um, New task. I need wood. <laughs> Lots of wood so that I can be able to make up a lot of chests. Aha, these big boy spruce trees should work fine. And now let's get down to business. Oh, that was kind of cringe. Um... <laughs> Ah, what a nice view for the night. Uh. All right, and that should be good to go on wood for now. I hope we need any more than this, then uh, there might not be a forest left. And now with all of our wood problems out of the way, now it's time to get started on building up a planet, which I, I want to continue this whole like rooted to spider oh it's gone okay um i want to continue with doing this whole like roots thing how it's like pulling up the islands and like holding them all up and everything one i think it's very cool and two i think it's just really cool you know throw a planet in the mix since we're doing all these islands because eventually i want to get all the way up to the clouds and that's where we're going to build our official base because remember this is just our our starter base uh and i have yet to actually get to building our base which i i want to do soon and that's why i want to start working on like going up more and the projects that i got planned for going up i also did just realize one thing thing with building our planet is that I do want the bottom to still kind of be stone. I, uh, I don't, I don't have any stone. Not to worry though, because we could just whip up a little auto stoner. It's like a, it's like a cobblestone machine, but it just sounds weird. How about I, uh, I, I just, I'll just build it. And there we go. We should be good to go. All this should automatically just turn into stone. And then all I need to do really is just use a silk touch pick, which luckily we do got that in our purse. Now I should be able to, oh wait, no, I forgot to put hoppers. I don't know how I forgot this bottom row needed to be hoppers going into chests of all things, but hey, we move, we move, we keep moving. Got to find out my next problem. Uh, yep. No, I need to make it one longer. All right, hold on. And there we go. Now we should be good to go. Now all I need to do is just sit here and mine away and just auto mine. All I got to do. And we should have plenty of stone for the... Um... Anyways, as I was saying, we should have plenty of stone now. And now it's time to get cracking on building up this other planet here. Now, honestly, I love planets. I think planets are great. Uh, and I'm only building islands because, well, the bottoms of them can be not perfect. Now, a planet, it's a circle. A sphere? A sphere. The sphere kind of has to be perfect, I'll be honest. And me and building? Not perfect. <laughs> However, I'm going to do my best because I think this will look very, very nice. Let me bridge out to where I'm going to do the center of this thing make a little platform basically just try to evenly oh gosh this is gonna be so hard for me i hate building planets okay yeah i can already tell this is uh this is gonna take many attempts i'm never great at building spheres man All right, so far, this is what we got going here. Now, I saw this other method for building spheres in Minecraft, starting basically from the inside out and basically going from the bottom to the top and creating each of the sides and then building it out. Now, I wanted to give this a try because, well, building a sphere is kind of hard, as I've mentioned several times. Now, all I really need to do here is basically build all the way up to that one and then, you know, just connect it sphere, which sounds a lot easier. <laughs> so let's see if we could get get up there without any issues and all i need to do is essentially connect this side like so and then now as you can see we have a nice spherical shape it's just going whoop. and i basically got to do that on all the different sides
and we've officially finished up with building our planet look at this thing it is glorious also the method of building it from inside out is 100 percent play i could build these planets all day long now yeah we got our green goo going so now you know our giant planet's gonna get a little bit moldy on top because i mean i need it to look very earthly also now it's time to finally get into actually building up our storage room which i left the top a little flat and i took off like the top layer essentially because i do want to build like a chest on top of this like a small chest or something where it's like you had a nice little storage area but then you go into the planet and it's like boom a giant storage room so all i really need to do is grab some yellow terracotta that's that's not gonna be enough yellow um here how about i fill up this entire shulker box in a three and a two and a one and there we go that looks much better i wish it was that easy i had to like fly all the way to terracotta land mine up a ton of that stuff nonetheless we move now what i want to do like I said is kind of build up a giant chest so here let's start with the outline there we go that should work it's pretty squared off i like the way this looks and then also gotta fill it in with all the lello so it's it's like yellow terracotta but I don't gotta talk about how cringy that was. Anyways, there we go. Now we got our chest all set up. I need to add the little white part in the front, which I'm just gonna use some of that smooth quartz. All right, now let's just bada bing, bada boom, bada boom, boom. And there we go. We got our, our little big chest on top of our storage room. Basically, this thing's complete, 100%. All I need to do is basically pop a hole in here and then you throw your items in and it'll automatically sort. And that's it. All right, guys, thanks for watching now what we got to do next is i need to pop a hole in the planet like so basically just getting rid of all of this oh no oh that's not good all right new plan i need to get rid of all these guys so would you like a duel then you get rid of all the middle part and then what i also want to do is add like a second entrance in the bottom of this thing so then we can fly up from the bottom going up kind of like that that should do that's also a problem <clears throat> problem for another time that is because we're kind of busy now what i want to do is i want to try to build uh, if i build this all out of wood it's not gonna I'm, I'm gonna run out of wood but either way i think it'll look good my goal here is to basically just build this whole thing up in a giant circular shape all the way up to there well giant square rather we'll probably start out on this level and i'll just basically build all the way around and around and around just like this there we go now that we got our nice little place platform going here i also need to try to remember how to even build an auto sorter um it's been quite a while and i need to place down a bunch of chests like this and we'll make this one double stacked at least just on my hoppers like so god dang it i knew it i need to move this whole thing inward one more block because i need to put my repeaters down right here there we go now that's actually much much better we pretty much got everything all squared away as far as like how to build the auto sorter it's been a little while for me got the comparators going to the redstone the repeater the torch and then you know whenever an item filters through here it'll send the signal up etc etc but now essentially i need to build this about like 100 more times all right let's get to work Ladies and gentlemen, it is time. Our gigantic auto sorter is finished. This thing took actually way longer than I thought it would uh, because I had to AFK for a lot more iron. However, it all worked out in the end. We have our amazing auto sorter. Basically, the way this works is uh, here. We can just ignore this for now. Just that that doesn't exist. All right. But basically, we have two double chest stacks, 17 chests across. And that's basically like 200,000 item slots, not even like a stack of items. Items. Like if this is a stack of items, like each one of these, like basically this whole thing would be well over a million items. However, the way this thing works is that all I need to do is throw an item onto one of these rows, or for example, place down a shulker box onto this. And the item then gets sucked up, goes throughout the entire thing, trying to figure out where it belongs. I still need to filter all the items, but um, that's that's for another day. Uh, and at the end of the day, if there's no home for it, it just ends up in this chest, which is the trash. There's only one last thing I really need to do to this, and that's kind of decorative 
separate because it looks really bland but with the swish and a flick and uh there we go now it looks much much better i like how when i look down because of all the hoppers and stuff like kind of laggy and i look up and i have like 800 fps yeah let me give you the tour now we got plenty of lanterns we got some greenery little compliments of the glass holding the water together oh yeah and then the the hoppers here we, we kind of made this like nice looking root thing that's going all the way up on the inside of the plane honestly i actually really like huh, this might be one of my favorite builds so far something about it it's just beautiful got the ease of access being able to fly in and out no problems if i need anything all i need to do is just a whoosh right up in here and then i can grab whatever i want i could go up and down the water to each level all i need to do is like actually sort each and every single one of these one thing i can do without having to organize literally everything yet is that each one of these hoppers here i need to put a filter item in each and every single one of these which is again like 17 across four let's math real quick here um how many levels is this this one two three four so i need um about 340 items uh okay before we get into naming all the filter items i'm i'm gonna need some xp and which luckily in our beautifully transformed end we do have an enderman farm so i should be able to get plenty of levels out of this at a reasonable amount of time one thing i do need to do is uh fix all this so first of all i brought the needed tools to fix this all i need to do is place down a dropper like that's not that's not how you're supposed to please don't fall oh thank i need to try to have it so it faces outward like that there we go and then all i need to do is place down an observer like so and another observer like that my piston like so no uh and this needs to be a sticky piston i just realized that dang it i'll swap it out later and then a lever like so and then it'll automatically turn that off and then when it's a sticky piston it'll pull that away to where it's not going to tick forever but i'm you know if i need to grab any pearls but we're not here for pearls we're here for xp so day two and nothing will ever prepare me for how loud this is i always forget it every time but it's working though we already got like two levels and i've only been sitting here for like 20 seconds so <laughs> life is not not good it's okay all right we should be good on levels i i really hope i'll be honest um but there's only one way to find out and that is to name a bunch of items so i figured dirt would probably be the best uh primarily because i have a lot of dirt so i'm gonna name it poo poo block and i'm gonna do that to a bunch of stacks except for this one this one uh we're gonna name it uh subscribe because only 30 percent of you watching are currently that's that's the longest i could go either way and then now i gotta take all these blocks and add it into each and every single one of these i'm pretty sure i need to do it like that yeah okay yes 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 indeed so adding four filter items to each and every single one of these would then make it so that when i add an item into here it'll filter all the the the, 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 you know what I'm saying? And me too. And now with all of our hoppers having the filter items in them, now I can officially, which way is it going? Is it going, it's going this way. So this box technically is the first box chest so let's see if this actually works i drop my dirt it should go down to what 46 and 41 there you go okay so then now the filter items make it so that goes down to 41 that should stop then right here perfect and then now to test out the hoppers to make sure those work they should start funneling in through our our grassy root thing right here and into here uh houston we have a problem um so this is why you test things i'm definitely missing a hopper somewhere in here i'll be honest I'm, I'm just not seeing it i think my dirt just might it might be lost forever i don't know maybe it's somehow in the trash can no oh, okay um okay i found the culprit it turns out i just had some old hoppers set up back here that weren't supposed to be here but now my dirt should funnel right into here beautifully put all these stupid leaves back and you need to do this speaking of leaves though so since we got the inside of this thing looking all rather voluptuous and beautiful honestly it just looks so cool looking straight down it however as i was saying the outside just don't match you know it's not it doesn't have that same good looking aesthetic out here so what i do want to do is kind of spruce it up at least a little bit oh i thought i just fell to my death um <laughs> i don't know what i'm afraid of it's like oh my god i fell whoosh <laughs> anyways i'm gonna build up here real quick so that i can at least get
get to adding a little bit of leaves and foliage and stuff like that and make it a little bit more green underneath like it's been pulled up out of the ground and it's got some root it's always the worst part about building these islands is making the bottom of them look good you actually just see the bottom of it the most all right now let's see how this thing turned out let's see maybe it's uh i think it needs more green i'll i'll be honest it just it needs more there we go that looks much better now i got some like lush cavey type stuff involved you know where it's like we got these uh the glow berries up here and then also the uh the moss because the moss i don't know something about it on the bottom of the planets the moss looks really good it makes the planet look moldy but now what i do want to do though is also add a little bit of these like kind of bushels like i got these on my planet not planet my island where it's just kind of like they look like bushes I feel like they add a nice little aesthetic to the planet and then of course we got to grow a little bit of grass not the tall grass i have to be the tallest thing on this planet irl and in game i gotta say guys i'll be completely honest this might be my favorite build and honestly it could even change the direction of the entire series i do like this a lot i'm not gonna lie all right now let's take a look at this beauty see how it turned out oh yeah oh that's looking luscious and beautiful oh it looks nice on the eyes i'm not gonna lie something about it it's one of those videos where you put a lot of time and a lot of effort into it and you're just really glad it pays off if you guys enjoy this build as much as i do make sure you guys smash that like button for me let me know subscribe join the paul gg army and i will see you guys in the next one